Okay, here we are with the second episode here, and we're continuing on with Octoman, and yeah. Hopefully it will be a very nice level here, <laughs> a nice level here, much like the last two that we played. So yeah, I'll kind of be expecting a water level here, but I guess we'll see Octoman. Ooh. You see this from Mega Man 5 on the Game Boy? Um, yeah, maybe it's Jupiter Man's stage? I don't know. Uh, I've played that game like three or four times from start to finish, but... Yeah, the stages or the music in the stages kind of blend together for me. And that's not to say that I think they are boring. I really like the music from the Mega Man 5 series on the Game Boy there. But yeah, I'm no expert at the games either. I really like Mega Man. Well, I like all Game Boy games, you know. Mega Man 2 has some funky music and funky graphics, um, but, you know, it's still an okay game, I think. Oh my goodness, dude. Proto Man. Chill. <laughs> you got some big muscle there for a very small cannon. <laughs> okay, whatever, shut up. Oh. But yeah, um. I would probably say I like Mega Man 3, 4, and 5 the best. Uh, Mega Man 1 and 2 were a bit rough for the Game Boy. Um, still very fun games. Mega Man 1 had a lot of those uh, kind of semi annoying Yoko Block segments in the Wily stages, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and the Iceman stage were very interesting in Mega Man 1. Mega Man 4 and 5 are probably my two most favorites. Um, well, I don't know. Mega Man 5 probably was the best one on the Game Boy. Uh, had some pretty long stages, but you know, the music was great, the gameplay was pretty fun. Um, the only thing I did not really like about that game is that usually when you die, you went very far back, but I don't really mind that. It still was a very good game. Either way, let's just drop that now. Um, let's comment on this stage instead. And yeah. This is quite interesting, actually. Um, I now realize, since we're in a octopi or a, in an octopus stage, I guess. I guess you know, it kind of spread its ink everywhere so that we would get stuck in it. Huh? Huh. And this here looks like something out of Drillman's stage in Eggman 4, uh, when you jump for the E tank in that stage and bonk your head. But yeah. There are bats in that room, if I recall correctly. <laughs> and yeah, we're definitely having some underwater segments here. Looking pretty nice. Oh. Holy crap. Well. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but I gotta take you out. I gotta say, the music fits this stage very well, I think. Yeah, and it's always fun, of course, to have custom music when you're playing. Like, it's fresh! Oh my goodness! I did not think that through before I started acting there. <laughs> And I kind of wonder here, like, there probably is, you know, a background color that's the same as the water here, like, you know, from a visual perspective, like, if you wanted to mask the background there so that the water did not, you know, look all weird here. Like, just remove the background and put the background color to this dark blue here. But although, maybe there are other screens that would be messed up by that, so maybe that's why Heavy Elite didn't want to do that. But... Yeah, if you did not know about the trick, that's a very nice way of, you know, covering up spikes there. But yeah, I gotta say, this stage, um, yeah, other than the spikes there, this stage has been looking very nice. Like, some pretty interesting room layouts and, yeah, very nice color scheme going and, oh, yo, yo, some interesting jumps you gotta make here too. It's very fitting for a 
Octopus stage, I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, here, of course, you have the pipes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I thought I was sure my buster would hit him there. And yeah, here, he wanted to have the light blue background here, so, okay. Yeah, the light blue here looks much better than having the, you know, dark bluish here, yeah. It, it really is a shame that when you have spikes underwater that it kind of messes everything up, um, you know, visual wise, oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think that they will be able to fix that, like, just with how the game runs and works and all of that, which is a bit of a shame, but yeah. At the end of the day, I guess, at, you know, it's nothing more than an eyesore, really, so I guess we just gotta live with it, I guess. <laughs> Nice! <laughs> yeah, some very nice scenery here too. Let's go to the left. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh my god, this is a little bit... <laughs> Yeah, it's a, a it's a little bit scary to move here. I gotta say. Oh my God! Look how much the oil slows you down here. We gotta do something about this here. We gotta we gotta do this. I believe. No, my God! Oh, how far back do I get sent? Oh, all the way here, eh? Shit. Okay, here again. Whew. I think that was the jump that I was stuck at, but this time I just kind of went for it. Yeah, this is new. Hmm. Yeah, it actually wasn't as hard as I first thought it was, but yeah, I just went for it there and it kind of just worked out. Oh my god. These jumps are so scary. Whew. Well, I think we're at the end here, and yeah, Protoman is gonna be a boss slayer here. <laughs> yeah, we don't even take double damage. Yeah, this is just... <laughs> just a massacre. Yeah, poor Spring, man. Didn't stand a chance. This series is actually better than a boss weakness, in my own opinion. It's just... Yeah, 3 damage, sure, 1 damage less, but... You can just spam it. <laughs> well, pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's jump into Mushroom Man stage. I'll see you there in a bit. Aight. Let's see. Hmm. I got a... Check which weapon we just got there from Nukeman. Oh no, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I might have done a mistake now here. I did not pick that up on purpose. Let's see. Octoman gives the Octo Arm. Thunderclaw. Okay, so I did pick up the right one. Let's see. Nukeman. Uh, the Nukeman gives the Commando Bomb. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, so then Mushroom Man gives uh, the purple weapon over there, whatever it's called. The Blade Cracker or something or other. And for this one, maybe we'll just rock good old Mega Man here, since we're shaking things up a bit now. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> indeed we do have mushrooms here. Like, these mushrooms here would be perfect, you know, with the Mega Man Maker level editor. I don't know if you have downloaded it yet, um, Heavy Elite, but basically it, the, the program allows you to really fix up 
you know, tiles and, you know, just screw around with them however you want to make it all look perfect. It's definitely a tool for perfectionists who wants nice visuals in their stages. And what the heck this is? This is brutal! Uh... Okay, well, actually... <laughs> that wasn't... That wasn't actually very hard. I'm just overreacting. But yeah, like... With the Mega Man Maker level editor you could really... Like, these tiles back there, like, you can make them look so much nicer there. They kind of, like... Yeah, they don't mix together very well there with the mushroom, but yeah. I think... I think there was someone who commented in your thread there about the Mushroom Man stage. Um, and they mentioned the Mega Man Maker level editor, or the Mega Man Mega Maker level editor. Um, yeah. But like, that tool is so nice for fixing up tiles. Um, but yeah, I'll stop. Stop, I'll stop harping about it now. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely do enjoy these. You know, the concept. Um, the concept with the mushrooms here. Very nice vibes here. <laughs> yeah, all nature type enemies here too in this stage. Very thematic. And, well. Kind of screw that up. And this here, yeah, all are going to go up, so just run. Yeah. The stage has taught us that the red ones are still, while the slightly orange ones are moving up, so yeah. I'm paying attention. <laughs> Are these poison mushrooms, perhaps? <laughs> oh, the green colored or sea gun, I guess. <sighs> Am I dead? Okay. Oh, I thought it would go down onto the spikes there. There we go. Very nice. Get another E tank. Well, thanks, but no thanks. I have more than enough. Oh, and well, this is interesting. That one actually went down into the spikes there. So now we have to be a little bit more mindful here. God. Oh my god, this is bad. Nuke. <laughs> Nuke him. Go. Hmm, yeah. One thing is for sure, and that is that it would have been very nice to have bass in this level. <laughs> very nice. Yeah. Piercing weapons, or yeah, like. Weapons that hit multiple targets usually are very good on these petite devils here. And this is a very clean looking room. Yeah. Like that one as well. Whoa, look at these guys. <laughs> Whoa, massive drops. <laughs> So here is to walk off, and yeah, be a little bit quicker. Gotta be a little bit quicker than that. Nah, let's see. Yeah, just. Ooh. Okay, well. Oh my god. Okay, the stage really got harder here, all of a sudden. We gotta really focus here. Okay. 
This here isn't too bad. Here, however, we gotta be ready for the cockroaches. So, let's use this. This is gonna work out uh, very well here, I think. Assuming I don't screw up. There you go, yeah. Since there is always a cockroach spawning there. Out of this homestead, like. If you just have this, the Thunderclaw out, it will destroy the cockroach at once. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, there I go running in too fast again. Okay, back here again. Now, let's do this in a safer manner here. Yeah. Let's just let this bounce off. And now we go. And this might be the final boss here. You know what? We might as well jump, use, and pick up. Very nice. Okay, that wasn't the boss. <laughs> or this isn't the boss, I should say. We still have a, another stretch to go here. Yeah, and I can only assume... Ooh. Okay, well, those were green, so I thought they would go to the left or to the right there. You know, to... <laughs> to be different or whatever. Ooh. Yeah, like, imagine using the light system uh, for this stage, huh? I've, <clears throat> I've even died a few times off-camera, like, yeah. It would have been brutal. No, <laughs> oh, dang it. Dang it, I always get hit by that bomb there when it throws them horizontally. I never remember to jump for it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, well, one more. And you're dead. Nice. So yeah, that does it. Um, we have done all the regular stages here for the Fierce Battlebots project. Yeah, very nice. So I guess in the next video we'll start with the Vita stages. And there are, let's see, I think there are four or five in total. No, there are six in total. Ooh. <laughs> well, very interesting. So, at least three more videos, unless I, you know, have a fail test and I have to extend it, basically. But yeah, um, these two stages are pretty fun as well. I definitely like Octo Man more than Mushroom Man, although Mushroom Man had some nice visuals too and some interesting. Um, uh, blah. Uh, some interesting jumping situations there with the freaking uh, uh, what are they called? The footholder, yeah, the footholder enemies. Uh, there, there, there definitely were a few tricky rooms there, but you had to time it properly, you know, with those back and forth going um, gimmick items from Mega Man Five there or Six or whatever those are from. But yeah, um, Octoman is definitely my favorite. It had some nice visuals, really nice visuals going for it, and the oil and the spikes and the turning valves and all of that. Yeah, it yeah. It definitely was a very rememberable stage. <laughs> an, an iconic stage for the first battle bot series there. So, yeah. I'll see you in the violet stages. <laughs>